My name is Joseph Puruganan from the Philippines. I work with uh, Focus on the Global South. We're involved in, uh, we're trying to build people's resistance against uh, unjust uh, trade and investment agreements across Asia. And so we, we're involved in several campaigns across the region to amplify the voices of the people who are opposing these unjust uh, agreements. Hello, I'm Maria Kanagloupoglu. I come from Athens, Greece, and uh, our focus in, the, in our campaign was uh, the Save Greek Water campaign was uh, uh, the struggle against the water privatization in Greece. That was in a way imposed by the Troika as part of the bailout agreement. Uh, we had a very good uh, struggle for two years, hard work every day, documentation, political work, campaigning, uh, raising of the awareness, and we managed to have a success in the end uh, through a, a Supreme Court decision. We managed to block the privatization of the Athens Water Company, which also affected the Thess Thessaloniki Water Company. We work on, on trade issues and investment issues in, in Argentina. Um, we have been working with other organizations there, uh, not only in our country, but also in the Americas. So we created, uh, like 10 years ago, the Hemispheric Social Alliance that fought against the free trade area of the Americas uh, up to 2005. And we are also involved in the campaigns regarding investment issues. So uh, we are very involved in trying to stop the signing of new bilateral investment treaties and also try to stop the inclusion of, of the uh, arbitration clauses inside the treaties. There's a lot of uh, things to be hopeful, especially as we see, for example, progressive movements across Asia and across the world trying to strengthen themselves. And we are hoping that uh, the developments, for example, across Europe, in Greece, in Spain, are uh, somehow replicated in, in our region. And this al would allow more uh, participation of uh, social movements would um, provide space to strengthen existing campaigns and would amplify really the voices from the ground. As you know, Greece right now is at the epicenter of uh, not only Europe, but in a way, <laughs> uh, through to, due to globalization of uh, all the countries, everybody is watching to see what is going to happen with the new uh, left go uh, government. So my aspiration is that we, we you know, uh, uh, really stand up to this uh, task and uh, really manage to to cut a little bit this uh, TINA logic of uh, no alternative to austerity, to neoliberalism in general. My hope for the future would be that we were able to stop the to stop the, the, the signing of new treaties and to actually try to change the investment system and the tr trade system by uh, I including uh, more um, democratic clauses if we have to renegotiate, uh, clauses that not uh, only go to the rights of corporations but the r to the rights of people, and I think that that is possible. You need to get involved, you need to make a stand on the issues that matter to you, and, but also have a, maybe have a global perspective on the issues. For example, you are, there's a very strong campaign against TTIP in the UK and across Europe. But I think it's also important for the TTIP campaigners to look beyond TTIP and see the bigger picture and how agreements such as TTIP also affect the rest of the world. I think that the role of the people in the UK is very important. Uh, we have uh, already seen some support from people uh, in the UK uh, for Greece. Uh, also, I think that the press, for their own uh, reasons, uh, have been quite uh, interested and also supportive in some cases. So for us, the very, very important thing is for the people to really say the truth about what has happened in Greece and uh, really circulate this information uh, to really turn down the propaganda and uh, understand that uh, this bailout was not really for the Greek people, but for the European banks. People in the UK should be more involved maybe in the trade issues. And first of all, they should st stand up against the TTIP. That's one of the major issues that has to be taken care of now and also try to uh, make their, their members of parliament or the members of, of, the, of the European parliament see that uh, the trade system right now is really, really incoherent, it's really anti-democratic, and to try to change that. It's uh, important uh, to take a stand, uh, be involved, but also try to reach out to other movements and other campaigns and build solidarity.